there, everybody. Luke here. Just want to give you a quick video demonstration that goes along with our AU design challenge we have. And this is designing a piece of flat pack furniture. So if you imagine something you might buy from Ikea, it's all a bunch of flat components. And in this case, it's going to be something that's going to come out of a three quarter inch thickness piece of plywood or 19 mil or whatever the millimeter equivalent is and the idea is no fasteners so no nails no screws and you need to be able to hold this all together with some sort of joint so whether it's a dovetail a mortise and tenon dados plywood dial whatever it is it just can't be held together with fasteners you could glue this uh, there is no laminating available, so you can't build up thickness of material. But you can do anything with three-quarter inch thickness, plywood, or 19 mil. And the idea is this is something you could disassemble if you didn't glue it together. Uh, I am doing this in sheet metal. That way, if I want to nest this at some point, I can. I'm probably not going to show that today. But I'm going to be working with three-quarter inch thickness material. So in my style editor, I already changed my thickness to three-quarter. So if I use any of my sheet metal commands, it will automatically pick up the thickness. So I'm just going to draw a really quick uh, center point rectangle and this is going to be two inches by three quarter inch and we're going to extrude this uh, about 24 inches and this is basically going to be uh, the leg of let's say a stool and I'm going to come in here and add a new sketch right here and I'm going to do another rectangle and we're going to start right about there and this is basically going to be uh, three quarter inch thickness there and it's going to be two inches tall there and we'll dimension this from the bottom edge about two inches and the idea is I need to be able to put this together this is going to be kind of a lap joint so I'm going to extrude this so let's finish our sketch and I can do a cut if I want again because I'm doing this with sheet metal it's going to pick it up automatically I am doing this in a single part file because I love multi-body parts the next thing I'm going to do is create another sketch on this front face and I'm going to go and turn on my perspective on ortho faces and I'm going to draw a two-point rectangle that is going to be two inches tall by 12 inches. And I'm going to finish that and face this. And I'm going to do this as a new solid. That way, if I want to break these apart, I can. And you can see what I end up having there is this lap joint between my two parts here. And what I can do now is start to use any kind of mirroring techniques. And the whole idea is these won't be held together with mechanical fasteners. I could have done this as a dovetail so it kind of stays in place more. Uh, so I'm going to add in a plane and I'm going to mirror from here to here. And then I will mirror and I'm going to mirror a solid. We'll mirror that solid about that mirror plane so you can see I can start to build my components just using typical commands again maintaining that three-quarter inch material thickness and when we talk about uh, the different types of joints you can also again do any type of you know dovetail so I'm gonna put a dovetail joint in up here and I'm not a furniture maker and or a carpenter, so excuse me if I do this incorrectly, but my idea of a dovetail, and the cooler the joint you can make, the better. So I'm just gonna put a quick sketch up here, and I think I picked the wrong face, so let me try that again. Uh, so I'm gonna put a quick sketch right there. There we go. And let's draw a quick dovetail. go and we need to make sure that it is three quarter inches thick Whoa, I must have typed in the wrong value 0.75 or three quarters and let's bring let's dimension these two lines here let's say that's gonna be one inch and let's say this is gonna be two inches and let's make uh, that midpoint horizontal with that midpoint and then let's get this in place now so let's do a coincident 
between that endpoint and that line. And then let's bring that down. And then let's dimension this from here to here. Let's say we want to clear two inches. I'm going to extrude this. And we'll pick that profile. We'll do a cut. We're going to do all so it goes through everything. So we can see that is a, it's kind of a very aggressive dovetail, but that's the dovetail. And now I'm going to do is put a new sketch. And I'm going to project some geometry. Close this up and then extrude Whoop. helps if I close my geometry up let's try that again just to be sure I'm not sure if I projected that correctly let's try that again extrude there we go and I'm just going to go to a face and let's go up to here. Let's do a new body. So you can see the idea is holding all of this geometry together again with just joints. Uh, when you're done with the assembly of your components, whether you're doing it as an assembly or a multi-body part, make sure that you save out a few images and renderings. The cooler these look, the better. Uh, I'm not going to do that today because uh, just want to make sure you understand the basics of the challenge. Keep it three quarter inches or 19 mil. Make sure there's no mechanical fasteners. Use the coolest joints you can find out there. And that's about it. Good luck. And I hope to see you folks in Vegas. Bye now.